Yeah. Um, oh, camera right. Afternoon, people. Um, I've, so I've seen. Um, my name's Gary. I'm an airbrush artist, and um, I use stencils during my work um, of varying sizes, different sizes. Now. What I've seen just lately advertised on Facebook a lot is these um, magnifying glasses. Now they're made by neatandhandy.com and what I've found with them is when I'm stenciling a lot of my work on my helmets, if I'm doing some very very small writing, I struggle to see the stencil. I've got a stencil here as an example. What I'll just do is show you the problem I have. First of all, is getting the sticky backing off the stencil, off the transfer paper. Anyway, jokes aside. So, I take my stencil, put some transfer paper on it. Then I'll put it on whatever I'm working on, whether it be a helmet, a metal plate, um, canvas, etc., whatever else. Now, so I peel my stencil off, and I'll apply it to what I want to airbrush onto. Just peel the backing paper off, the, the transfer paper. Now, the problem I have is once that's on there, especially if it's on a coloured helmet or Something like that. It's very difficult to see through to see the tiny transfer bits that I need to pick out to make the stencil work. And I looked around and looked around and I couldn't find anything. Now what we've got there is we've got the stencil on there. It's actually quite hard to see which bit I need to pull out. So, I came across these. Now, there is a strap that goes on here so you can have a strap that goes around the back of your head to hold them on. I actually prefer it without the strap. We've got the nose piece here which can be unscrewed and removed if you need to. Now, my one, like the uh, neat and handy one, is has a light. The only thing on my one is, uh, is it's got batteries, whereas theirs is a rechargeable unit. Now, you can move the lens in and out on a slider, so you can have it close or further away. That's quite nice. Now, you get five sets of magnifying glass as you can see all the different thicknesses but this is one I use at the moment so we'll pop this in now the other beauty is with the light on it it will highlight what I'm looking at to get the stencil out now I'm wearing glasses and people say well you know how do you get on with the glasses well, these are variofocals, so it would be quite difficult to use with them. But take them off, put me light on, and put these on. I'll get my little picking tool out. And I can now see very, very clearly what I've got to pick out.
and I've now picked out the G on that and show forth. What I'll do is I'm not going to drag this video out with showing you every single pulling out every single letter but what I will do is when when I've done that all I'll spray it and I'll show you the finished product but without these you, I don't know if you can see it here my lamp is now lighting up all the small pieces that I need to pick out which makes my life so much easier um, like I say it's five different lenses for five different types of thing so I'll show the finish of that when it's done at the end of the video also things like I have here a hard drive that if you wiggle the lead about the power light will flash on and off but it won't maintain now somewhere here there is a dry joint Now, I might need to change lenses on that one. So I'm going to go up a lens. Easily changed. I need to see a lot closer. In fact, I went the wrong way with that lens. It needs to be. Let me try this one. First one. must be I'm going the wrong way with the lenses bear with me I got to a stage where I was using one particular lens and uh, this one's probably going to do it yes now I can see everything on there and I can see Potential problem. Now, so if I want to solder on here, soldering on is on. I can now check some of these solder joints using. See, without these, there's no way I'd be able to do this. Whoops. Does help if you don't drop it. Make a meal of this. So these goggles are a great godsend in respect of being able to see stuff That's something I'll play with later. What I'm trying to demonstrate is the usefulness of these glasses and what you can do with them. So we've gone there from super magnifying to get that tiny stuff done. I'll give you another example. We'll take set number three because that's the set I normally use. I do air soft shooting, which is firing plastic BB bullets at your friends from replica. I'll just 
find what I'm looking for. Right. From replica plastic and metal BB guns. Now, this is a plastic and metal BB gun that I resprayed for a friend of mine. Now, just here, I'll try and show it to you. Just there, where it's now sprayed black, should be a little two red markers and a little red line to show where your setting is. So, I can't set normal eyesight, but I have a little drop of red paint and a tiny brush. And I can see now exactly where I need to be with those markers. Now it's not fully finished, so I've got to give him another coat, but that gives you an idea of, now, if that had been, if I was trying to do it on my normal eyesight, well I can't see it from there with my own eyesight, and probably not on my reading glasses, but with these on, I can see exactly where I need to be, and to get the right job done so if you're if you're in need of a a set of glasses to help you with that miniature stuff it's not just about painting miniature miniature figures little jobs like that where I can paint tiny stuff in that's needed jobs like this which I'm, I'm gonna have a bit of a further look at because I, I can't fix this in the time span I want to show the video but with the mag magnification I can see all this circuit board I'll be able to see where the problem is on my circuit board so I will fix that and hopefully have that working and other little jobs I mean if you're doing an airfix kit um, and you've got small bits you're putting in place with choices I have another thing here for example I've got this is the internals of a sports camera I use and what's happened is there's two little push switches on the side now with my glasses on the switches have actually come apart with my glasses on I can see there exactly where I've got to put the soldering on to detach them and get two more in order and I'll be able to put them back in but currently at the moment if I didn't have these glasses I wouldn't be able to see that 
to see where I need to detach them. So they're a very good, very good thing to have in the workshop. I've had so many things where I've had to do something with a watch. Um, my wife's Fitbit the other day wouldn't charge. So I was able to look at the little charge plugs on the back of it and um, clean them up. But I can only see them because I've got these on. Um, what else we've got? They adjust up and down a bit. All right, so you can, you can change the angle that way. So this piece slides backwards and forwards. Lens is dead easy to change in and out. Just click, push in, nose piece. If you don't want the nose piece, you can take two little Phillips screws out and that comes off. Now, I don't know where my strap is. My strap's here somewhere, but they do come with a box um, to keep them in. And then the lenses are all kept in this box out of harm's way. Being in a busy airbrush workshop, they tend to get dusty, so I have to hide them away. Um, what else can I say about them? I've seen a little advert where the bloke's painting the, the little miniature figure, but I just felt I wanted to do a video where it shows the real versatility of them. Like I say, adjustable, easy change lenses, five different lenses, and really it's for anything tiny you want to look at. If you ain't got the greatest of eyesight, which I haven't now, I have my my reading glasses and distance glasses. But when I want to do something like this, or some electrical um, a, a model kit, we know model kits have loads and loads of tiny pieces in, which you usually have to put in place a pair of tweezers. These are ideal for it. So, is the light on or off? They help me greatly. But like I say, they've got many, many, many uses. Like this is a Garmin sat-nav. Now, I ride a motorbike. And I wanted um, to be able to hear it. So what I did was I went into the back. And I used my glasses, and I saw where the speaker joints were, unsoldered them, and I put in a patch lead to patch up to headphones in my Mars Rattle Crash helmet. So now, when I ride along, uh, that actually talks to, to me through my helmet. But again, the glasses, because circuit boards are very small and fiddly and... Um, so you've got electronics you can do with it, you've got artwork, you can do a little artwork, you've got, like I do here, stencil work, pulling out all the bits of stencil so you can see them. Lots and lots of different things you can do with them. So if you're thinking about getting a pair, you do, they're well worth the money. Um, they're pretty robust. They are strong. They, they take a bit of a beating. I'm not mod knocked about the works quite a bit. There's a nice pad here that sits against your forehead, which just makes them comfy. Not much more to say about them, but uh, yeah, if you uh, think about getting a set, yeah, do. They've uh, certainly helped me out in what I do in this workshop, uh, and I do lots of things, all sorts of things, tiny things, big things. But yeah, right. Okay, well I hope that's helpful to anybody that's thinking about getting a pair. Uh, if that gives you a little insight into them. I can't remember if the... I think, yes, another thing. You can tilt the light. Actually tilts. So you can tilt it to wherever you want it which is handy and this I believe yes you can also adjust that in and out so really they're very versatile there's all the adjustments there you could need to make them fit you to do the job 
they're certainly well thought out. Now I made the fatal mistake. I haven't. I don't even know where they are now. I'll probably throw them in the bin. I bought these so-called brilliant magnifying glasses where you had a knob on the side, and there was like two lenses, and you twisted the knob, and, and they're supposed to focus in and out. Well, I bought them. As soon as I twisted the knob, they fell apart. Um, so that's why I started searching again for another pair and um, these come up and these are the answer right I'll leave it that um, my friend's toy guns finished we're gonna have a look at the hard drive see what's wrong with that that I've got to wait for some switches to come so it gives you a general idea all right it's um, neatandhandy.com that sell them uh, definitely worth purchase and uh, would be money well spent. All right, do it.